Hi there. So many a times we have to analyze a specific stock and figure out whether it should be considered for investment or trading. And as we've been talking always on this channel as well as wherever you are seeing this content, that your key to success in stock market is identifying fundamentally strong stocks. And how do you identify fundamentally strong stocks is by understanding the business very well and then analyzing how the stock is performing in a specific time period, be it through checking the annual reports or quarterly results. And that is a lot of work. And that's where the Notebook LM or the AI can really help you. So you can head to notebooklm.google.com and that's exactly what we are covering over here. I have already created a notebook for CAMS, which is the company that we have picked up to discuss. But you can start any new notebook and start uh, collating information for that. So let's go ahead and do this for CAMS. Now, when I said that collating information, what does collating information mean? It means that you want to know about the company, which is the first and foremost thing is that you would like to add to it and understand from the website what kind of business they are in. So that is one of the sources of information. Then your annual reports are uh, one of the sources of information, quarterly results, and then what the management has talked about when they have uh, given their quarterly results. So I've already gotten all of that information and I also have the quarterly results for the Q2. So I'll add that over here. So as new information presents, you can always add to it. So that's what we're doing right now. We are collating all the information into the notebook. And what it provides us is the ability to question this based upon the sources that we have provided. So first, let's take the step of adding the, the quarterly results. That's the second quarter results, which I already gotten over here on my computer and I'm just uploading it to the system. Now it can also be the other kinds of sources, the Google Drive, the uh, YouTube link to wherein the company has provided information about their quarterly results or for that matter the website. So all of that can be added as source and that's exactly what it is. I also added a source which is about a kind of a you know a format in which I would like to generate my report eventually that we're not going to use in the current video that for that we'll uh, create another one but now i am i've collated all the information i have provided it with the website i provided it with the quarterly results and the annual results so there you go the second quarter results are also there the first and foremost when you are discussing any company is you want to understand the business and you want to understand what are the revenue streams and how is the split in terms of the revenue so let's first understand what is the business for CAS. There you go, based upon all the information that's available in this notebook, it has tried answering for me this particular question, which is a very pertinent one, that what is the business? Because I might be seeing this particular stock for the first time. And that's what it says that CAMS is a leading technology driven financial infrastructure and service provider. CAMS is a diversified business model, but they are most well known for being India's foremost provider of technology driven in mutual fund space. They are qualified registrar and transfer agents for mutual funds serving 10 out of the 15 largest mutual funds in India. And it is also giving me the source of information. So there is a mutual fund service. That's what it offers. And uh, there are also alternative investment funds and portfolio management services that it is offering. So it kind of gives you an understanding of what business they are in and uh, it gives you a sense and you can delve deeper into each one of them to understand how uh, the business is organized. But let us say I now want to also figure out, can you give me a split of their revenue and how each segment contributes. So I got an understanding of what business it is into. I got the primary segments and then I want to understand how is the split in terms of revenue so that I can genuinely understand whether it is dependent on mutual fund or it is dependent on something else.
So based upon uh, what is available, it again kind of brings me this information and it is within this particular document, whatever are the sources, whatever information is coming is based upon whatever is available in this document. In case it has to go out of the scope, it will always tell you that, yes. So mutual fund revenue continues to be the primary source of for CAMS. It accounted for whooping 87.1%, it clearly indicates that. Within mutual fund revenue, there are two categories, asset based revenue, non asset based revenue. And then it has also given me an understanding of how the non mutual fund revenue is organized. So brilliant it is. Now it also gives me a, because it's based upon quarterly and uh, given it both the quarters, it has given me an indicator that okay this is how the split is looking as good as it can get for that matter. So that's wonderful I understand that it's mutual fund and non mutual fund primary being the mutual fund which is 87% and it is given me that understanding now let's say that I want to just see whether the company is growing or not and I want it to give it to me in a tabular format so that I can easily co consume that. So can you give me important indicators quarter on quarter and annual in a tabular format to give me an understanding of growth. So I have understood the business. I want to figure out whether it is growing or not. So that's an obvious question and I give it to the system again. So there you go, it brought me all of the information in a kind of a tabular format. It gives me how the quarterly uh, Q1 is looking like versus Q2 versus Q3, Q4 and then Q1 and Q2. And it kind of gives me a year on year growth, uh, uh, quarter 2, uh, two FI25 versus quarter 2 uh, FI24 because that's the latest one. And all the important indicators have been brought up over here. The, operating revenue for that matter the uh, profit margin which is a very important one and whether it is growing or not all figures in, in lakhs it kind of gives me a very good uh, this thing CAMS demonstrates strong revenue growth both quarterly and annually then it brings me operational metrics so it has brought me all the information that is needed for me to understand whether the company is growing or not what business is it in now let us say I want to save some of this information. Uh, now these chats are not uh, maintained session on session. So if you have come to the conclusion or you have uh, figured out some of the questions that made sense and you got the answer that you needed, you have to save that. So I will go ahead and save this. Now it saves for me and it kind of indicates that yes, this is about CAMS quarter and quarter and annual growth indicators. So that is very quickly how you can leverage the solution to understand uh, what's going on and uh, how you can leverage it to figure out whether the stock is worth investing or not. Like over here I came to the conclusion that yes there is growth and it can be revisited for trade or for that investment. It really saves you a lot of time because one whatever information it is providing it is clearly indicating from where it is getting that particular piece of information and it is contained within the source and then you can keep on querying it back and forth to till you reach to a point that yes whether it is worth investing or it is not worth investing and you are very sure that it has leverage that it has provided. Uh, what you really need to know is your right set of questions to analyze a particular stock or for that matter a particular industry. In the next one what we are going to do is leverage the same solution to figure out how it works for a particular industry or not. Over here we kept it very simple, got in all the sources, got in the right questions and finally we figured out that yes there is reasonable growth and it's worth considering for some kind of a trade or an investment and it can make to your list. I'll see you in the next one wherein we further figure out on how to leverage technology to make better investment and trade decisions. Bye for now.